I'm going to show you how to mask these doors quickly and cheaply. We use what's called a painter's plastic. You get it, it either comes in um, 9 foot lengths, which is normal, or we keep a couple of 12 footers on hand for a more expensive house with higher ceilings. Now, what you want to do, first thing that you want to do is you want to put your inch and a half tape. You don't use blue tape, use white tape because of the edge. You want to put it up here and leave this, leave the bottom open. Okay? Now, say we're on a, a ladder right here and you reach all the way over there, but you can't, and suppose you're up 20, 30 feet. Suppose that, and you're doing this alone, and you need to move the ladder and the, now have the tape fall off. Well, this is the way we do it in the business. Now watch. You take an extra foot of the tape, put it right there, we step down, step over, and we'll keep going. Now, after this is done, I'll continue. Now, after we get the tape up all the way around the perimeter, you don't have to put it on the bottom. Because all, all I'm doing is shielding these doors from any paint dripping from the top. We usually ever do, do everything from the top down, but I'm, I experiment. You want to cut yourself a piece of plastic right here, about a foot longer than you need. Okay? Now, we have all the tape, the edges. Now, there's a secret to do this. What you want to do is you want to find the middle of the... You want to find the middle of the plastic and start right up here. And then what you want to do is on each side, you want to go all the way to the ends. All the way to the ends and then you stop. Then what you do is you slowly don't do one whole side and the other side, okay? Because if you run up short, it happens all the time. Go down about a foot from the top and tuck your plastic underneath here and it'll stick to there. Then you want to come over here and do the same thing. And just repeat the process all the way down and you'll have all the door covered. Now you see that only took uh, a, a three dollar piece of tape and some, this is real cheap plastic. I mean, it's painter's plastic. Now if I was spraying, I'd want to get it a lot um, tighter. With spraying, there's a trick to spraying is you want to have the plastic down here and it takes practice to put it on. It's not a big deal. You can use a 3M masking which is they got black and red and those are used for um, dual coats and it's a it's a long story I may get into that anyway if you're gonna spray what you want to have is you want to have the plastic as tight as possible where you can bounce a nickel off it you do that because the air pressure of the sprayer can, can tend to get underneath it if it's uh, God, I love that color. If it's, um, well, let's continue. It's kind of early. I'm going to show you this step by step. Anyway, what I've done is I've ha you have about a foot extra on each side of your project, whatever it is. And that's, that's, that's about a good thing. And you, like I said, you, you break this in half, you start in the middle, and you tuck, you take about a foot of it, okay, and use your, use your finger, and you tuck it underneath the tape like this and it sticks to it. Now remember you already got a uh, surface sealed up here now this is sealed underneath. Okay that's why we use three quarter well three or an inch and a half. So you keep going okay and then you want to go over here and you want to you want to keep everything even because if you do one side you just tuck it underneath there like that like that like that you come all the way to the corner then you if you come all the way down and you run out of plastic for the other side, then you're you're screwed. So, and then what you do when you come to the corner like this, say you've got some extra. See the extra? Whoops. You want to tuck it inside the plastic like this. And you want to tuck it inside in the door side and pull it tight and then 
tuck it in. And I'm going to do that. Now we've got the top taped in. We come down a foot. We'll pull this over. We want to keep it square all the way down. And you can see how that the wind is blowing it. That that what that means is that there's a leak in the door and it's coming from the inside. But we'll go down another foot, another foot. We'll go down a foot here, and we'll go down a foot here. Just keep it even. And the one thing you want to remember is if you have any extra plastic, which you will have, tuck it underneath the project. Don't let it flap on the outside. If it flaps on the outside, there's a chance that it can flap right into your paint or there might may be a hole in the plastic that you don't see and that's just not the way to do it so this is how you take just ordinary plastic and ordinary three-quarter tape and that's all I use I don't use any fancy gadgets this is the way I was taught time is money so we have to do things fast and efficient now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and then I'll show you. Now this is what the plastic looks like after it's been put on. Now I want to just show you the technique for putting plastic on doors or windows like over here. This is just one way of doing it. Remember if you're on YouTube and you you see a handyman or a painter showing you something and you know the guy's not doing it right, please don't leave any bad comments because a lot of times there is a hundred different ways to do things and the more that we criticize others then they won't put the videos on there so what I do is I go okay well that's not my way of doing it but I want to show you the easy way how to just how to do this the techniques along with cutting in and I think I'm, I'm gonna make a whole video series on painting uh, but remember uh, we usually do from the top down and I experiment on this house and as you can see um, I know what the hell I'm doing now I'm going to give this a second coat of exterior pink and fix this area right in here and then I'll take the plastic down but as you can see on the plastic if you go if you go down if you go down see how tight that is that's that's tighter than a 18 year old Brazilian's good looking Chi Chi's. Look at that. Bing, 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 bing. So then we put it, uh, we use the drop cloth and put it underneath or over the top of the plastic for up here. Now I use a 10 ounce uh, drop cloth. You get these at you can use any kind, but these are the best. They soak up a lot of paint, if, but I don't spill that much paint. Alright, now I'm going to get the base color. And I'm going to do the, uh, the front of this and finish this job. But I, I wanted to show you that is how you tape a door. Or a window for coverage. Now if I was spraying, it'd be a lot tighter than that because I, I want to make sure sp spray has a way of getting into things. Another thing that you do want to look for is sometimes you get plastic that has got nicks in it. So you want to look and see if there's any nicks in it or holes because it does happen. And if you find a little hole or something, take a, take a little piece of white tape like that and just put it over the hole. Then you want to go down and you want to put all this in place this is a it's white tape is out in the sun do not leave it on overnight at all okay because the um, the paint will stick to the or the this surface will stick to the new paint and you got you got problems but we use uh, the inch and a half on everything the reason we use the white tape is it it's got so much stickum on it it makes a real fine line and paint doesn't get underneath that's why we use that's why we use um white. And I've used hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rolls of it. So you don't need a uh, purple passion $12 super tape and you don't need um green frog mag magnum uh, uh put it on the walls and it paints itself tape. Now with a little little bit a little bit of plastic 
that you buy at the painter store. One piece of tape and a stool and that's a technique for for masking. The video don't lie so most people are good painters they just don't know the tricks so they just stumble and make messes and I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that with my videos. Okay now we paint. In case anyone wants to know these are the colors I used. This is for the fence Sherwin-William. This is for the house. This is for the trim. And this is for the front door and the false doors. So I wanted to show that and then I've got to paint this. This will be a dark purple on with the letter letters here. I have to paint that. And then I want to show you over here what what caulking does and what it doesn't do. I caulked this whole house a number of years ago and I really pride myself in my caulking. But as you can see, if you look up there, you don't see any black lines, any black spots. That would tell you that there is a, a gap in the caulking. Now if you can see right there, okay, that's, that's a gap in the caulking right there. So I gotta take some caulk and fix that. Or over here, there's a little problem up there. And of course, this is the entranceway. So, and there's a little problem up there. And of course, you may got to remember this house is 45 years old. So, this is what caulking does. When you caulk in all your joints like this, and people don't usually do it. They don't go to that much trouble. I've caulked in all the the trim, everything else, and you can see there's a little hole right there. I'll, I'll put it some caulk in that. And you can look over here, and this is sunk in a little bit. But if you go and fix these little problems with caulk, everything's, everything's been caulked, then you don't have a spider problem or a bug problem because they don't have anywhere to hide. And they won't, they won't get up here in the rafters at all. So I've got to this area with the second coat so far, and then I'll uh, trim this out. I'm going to caulk right now. And as you can see on the plastic, you see, you know, accidents happen. This shit happens. So, as soon as I get done with uh, doing all my work up here, I'll pull that plastic down and this front will be done. Hope you like it.